Hi, this is Susan from Cochineal Design Studio, and today we're going to share with you the pocket feature in Garment Designer. Garment Designer is a pattern making program for Macintosh and Windows computers. So here we are in Garment Designer, and I think what I'll do is design a quick style. I'm going to make my garment be an A line, and I'm going to stay with the V neck that I had chosen before. Um, maybe I want it to be a little deeper, so I'm going to choose a deep curve. Uh, for my sleeve, let's try a bell sleeve. So we've got some curve going on with that. And if I want, I can change the garment length. I'm going to make it be just a little bit longer. I'll make it be 28 inches, so it's a little more tunic length. And now I'm going to build pockets. Pockets are found in the extras menu. And it's this entire section here. Since we have a top on, we're only seeing the top three options. The word pocket is just a title, so it's just showing you what the section is about. I think in this case, I'm going to choose to put my pockets at the hip level of the garment. And so I can choose to put a pocket on the front left. And so it brings a pocket in here down in, in the hip area. If I want, I can also go choose to put a pocket also on the right. And so you'll notice that I have a new style menu here, and that will impact both pockets simultaneously. If I want the two pockets to be unique to each other, I could go choose to um, have the front unique. And that means I will get two separate style menus for my pockets so that I can have two completely different shaped pockets. So my left pocket, maybe I want a rounded square, and my right pocket, maybe I want uh, an angled in or an angled out. So you can be really funky or you can be very basic. Uh, and that's what the unique function does. It allows both sides to be uniquely different. All right, if I want to move a pocket to a new location, you can click inside the pocket and then you need to click on one of the outlining edges and move the pocket to where you want it to be positioned. And let's just say like on this side, I'm going to move it and kind of match it up to my side seam um, just to show you more functions. So now I can edit this pocket a little bit right on the garment so that it will be right attached to the side seam if I choose. You can also uh, go to the menu here and choose to separate the pattern pieces. And what this does is tear off your pockets and bring them over here so that you can edit. And then editing, maybe I want to, um, you know, it's going to do both at once unless I turn symmetry off. But you can move, maybe I want deeper pockets, so I'm just tweaking. So you can do that type of thing. And while it's here as well, I can add uh, the extension or the hem on the top of the pocket. I can add the seam allowances, etc. I want to point out that a lot of people will... Um, use the pockets to help them with their embroidery design. So if you see here, our pocket has a little plus. So if I put the pocket back onto the garment and not torn off, then I can move my pocket around to where I want the embroidery to be positioned. And I can even resize my pocket to be the boundaries for the embroidery. So let's go back again and we'll uh, separate our pattern pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a hem to the top, so that is addition, add a hem, and I will add a hem of one inch, like that. And then if I want, I can add seam allowances, etc., to the rest of the garment. But I think that you get the idea for how this works. Before I show you the bottoms, I want to show you a few other options with uh, the top pockets, or actually all pockets. So I think I'm just, for the moment, going to delete all additions to remove the facings because I don't want them yet. I think also that I will just focus on having uh, just one of the pockets. I'm going to turn unique off, and I'm going to turn the right one off. So we're just looking at this pocket for the moment. And what I wanted to show you is that there are options. We have outer inner which is amounts to the same thing okay and then but you can also put flaps on if you choose to add a flap to it and you can have only flaps if you choose to build welts 
So you have many variations in how you can experiment and build pockets. If I want uh, to see on bottoms, in the same file if I choose, I can go to the bottom and bring up a pant or a skirt and ask for pockets here. So this time when I go to the extras menu, now all the top items are dim that relate to tops or dresses and the bottom items are available. So I have both a hip and uh, a thigh pocket. So I'm gonna put a pocket just on my front left, let's say. And uh, I'm already in a group called specialty. Normally you default to coming into the outer pockets, but if you slide down to the specialty pockets that are only in the bottoms, this is where you'll find angled trousers, the skirt style, the jean style, and inseam, etc. I do want to point out that uh, I'm working with Garment Designer with both style sets one and two. So you're seeing all the style menus that are possible. Our base program doesn't have quite all of these, so just be aware that uh, the more styles you have, the more mix and matchability you have. So that's a quick overview. Now let's go look at some samples. These are some sample garments that I've made uh, using pockets. So we're looking here at a linen jumper and I put a patch pocket on the front. Here is the pattern with the pocket. Uh, this is a polar fleece jacket. This pocket's quite deep and was built right into the hem. And there you can see the simple pattern for that. Uh, this is a, another jacket made with a deep pocket using a fabric with alpaca fleece on the back. And this is the pocket, so you can see how I shaped it to match the side seam. Uh, this is uh, Lou Yoder from Massachusetts, who is a sailor, and he loves to make custom pants, and he makes really funky pockets, which I think are just great. Um, this is a jacket that I built using a pocket that I reshaped to be a nice rounded inseam pocket. Here we have a dress that I created and also built a rounded inseam pocket. You can see the total. Um, this is showing you a sample of a skirt with some of the specialty pockets. There's two different options there. In this dress, I did kind of a creative approach here. So this is a dress with two different fabrics and I made um, a gathered pocket that I put on one side of the garment. So here was my start pattern for the pocket. And then on the table, I did a slash and spread and widened it so that I could gather it back into the garment as you're seeing right here and here. Uh, again, I could go into Garment Designer and do that spreading uh, manually once I've seen how much fullness I want. But just to show you that there's lots of options in working with pockets in Garment Designer. If you're looking for some inspiration for pocket styles, check out uh, my Pinterest page. Uh, you can go to pinterest.com thinkdoodlemake, which is what my handle is there, and then search for our pockets pages. And I have many pins, and so you can scroll through and get lots of inspiration for creative pockets, many of which you can easily create with Garment Designer. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you get a lot of information here that you can use to build creatively using pockets with Garment Designer.